Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we will be learning about permutations and combinations. In this video, we will learn two different methods to solve the questions. The first one being the string method and the second one, the gap method. We will learn when these methods can be applied, how to apply these methods. In this video, we will start from very basic questions and gradually as the video progresses, the complexity of the questions will also increase. So please stay tuned. Let's start with the very first question. This is a very simple question. So the question goes like, all the colors of rainbow are arranged in a line. If you don't know what the colors in a rainbow are, it is the gyo, which stands for valid, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. So the question is find number of ways. Now this is a very simple question. We can do it by using the fundamental principles of counting that goes like, we have seven placeholder. So the first placeholder can be arranged in any of the color in seven ways. The second can be arranged in six ways, then five, then four, then three, then two, and then one. So the final solution is seven into six into five into four into three into two into one, which is equal to factorial seven. We have a very important note here. The note goes like, n things from n distinct things can be arranged in factorial n ways. This means that if you have n things and you have to select those things and arrange all of them, then it can be done in factorial n ways. This particular note can be really handy, so please make a note of it. Now we have a question. When to apply gap method and when to apply string method? Let's answer that question. Whenever two or more things are always together, go for string method. And whenever two or more things are always separate, go for gap method. So now let's learn how to implement both the methods. Let's start with what exactly the string method is. We'll learn that with an example. The example goes like, Find number of ways if red, yellow and orange are always together. Now since the question says always together, you have to go with the string method. We'll write all the colors of rainbow keeping yellow, orange and red together. Now since these three have to be together, we're going to tie them with a string. Now we have five individual packets. Number of packets are five. Now the question arises as to how are we going to arrange them. So it is very simple. We'll do the arrangement of five packets and we'll multiply them with the internal arrangement of yellow, orange and red. So the final solution looks like arrangement of five packets take factorial five ways and internal arrangement of yellow, orange and red takes factorial three. We'll just multiply both of them and this is the solution. I hope I have made my point clear. If not, please pause this video and rewind a little. The next question is, find number of ways if red and orange are always together. So pause this video and try to solve this question by yourself. The solution goes like, we are keeping orange and red together and tying it with the string. Now the number of packets are six. So the solution is, arrange six packets and multiply it with the internal arrangement of O and R. So the solution is factorial 6 into factorial 2. The next question is, find number of ways if blue and green are always together and yellow and orange are always together. I would suggest you to please pause this video and try to solve this question by yourself. The solution is, I am keeping blue and green together and yellow and orange together tying both of them with the string. Now the number of packets are 5. So now the solution goes like arrange 5 packets and multiply it with the internal arrangement of BG and of YO. So the solution is 5 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial. I hope you have understood what the string method was. Now moving forward we go to the gap method. So let's understand that with an example. The question is, find number of ways if red, yellow and orange are always separate. In gap method, we write all other elements except the elements which are required to be kept separate. So we write V, I, B and G. We have 5 gaps. Now you must be wondering, how are we going to arrange these? 
So the solution goes like, firstly we'll arrange WIBG, which means we'll arrange all other letters. Then from the num total number of gaps, we're going to select the three gaps wherein we are going to place our three colors. So selection of gap and then we'll multiply it with the arrangement of gap. So the final solution is factorial 4 that is for the arrangement of WIBG. Then we multiply that with selection of gap. We have five gaps and we have to select three. So it is 5C3 and arrangement of RYO which is equal to factorial 3. So the final solution is the product of all the three. I hope that you have understood this method but if not please pause and rewind back to this part. This question is just a practice question. The question goes like find number of ways if red and yellow are always separate. Please pause this video and try to solve this question by yourself. The solution goes like we'll write all the colors except red and yellow. Now we'll count the number of gaps. The total number of gaps are 6. First we'll arrange V U I B G O. Then we'll multiply it with the selection of gap. Then we'll multiply it with the arrangement of R and Y. The final solution is arrangement of V I B G O takes factorial 5 ways. Selection of gap takes 62. And arrangement of R Y takes factorial 2 ways. The final result is the product of all the three. Moving forward, let's solve a question that is a combination of both string and gap method. The question goes like, find number of ways if red and yellow are always separate and blue and green are always together. Please pause this video and try to solve this question by yourself. If you are able to solve this question, I can guarantee that you have understood the concept of string method and gap method. The solution goes like, since red and yellow are always separate, we are not going to write them. We'll write all other colors and we'll place blue and green together and tie it with a knot. Now we'll count the number of gaps available. The number of gaps are 5. So the solution goes like, arrangement of W, I, B, G and O into internal arrangement of B and G. And after that we'll select the gap. And then we'll arrange the two letters on the gap. So the solution is factorial 4 which is the arrangement of the four packets that we have. We have an inter into the internal arrangement of B and G. Now we have 5 gaps so it is 5C2. And then we'll multiply that with the arrangement of R and Y which is factorial 2. I really hope you have followed this question. Now moving forward. Let's practice a few questions. For these set of questions, 4 boys and 4 girls are to be seated in a line by number of ways. Now since we have no restriction, we can just solve it using fundamental principles of counting that is. We have 8 placeholder. The first can be arranged in 8 ways, then 7 ways, then 6, then 5, then 4, 3, 2 and 1. So the solution is factorial 8 ways. The next question is, find number of ways if all the girls are together. Now, I would request you to please pause this video and try to solve this question by yourself. The solution to this problem is, since all the girls are always together, so you have to go with the string method. So, I will tie all the girls with the string. Now, the number of packets are 5. So, the final solution would be, Arrangement of 5 packets multiplied by the internal arrangement of all the girls. So the solution is factorial 5 into factorial 4. The next question is find number of ways if no two girls are together. I would request you to please pause this video and try to solve this question by yourself. The solution to this problem is first we'll write all the boys. Then we'll count the gaps possible. There are 5 gaps. So the solution to this problem is arrangement of boys into selection of gap and into arrangement of the girls. So, fin the, so the final solution is factorial 4 into 5C4 because we have to select 4 gaps out of 5 
and into factorial 4 because arrangement of 4 girls will require factorial 4 ways. Moving forward, the next question is, find number of ways if G1 and G2 are always together. Now, since G1 and G2 should be always together, so we will go with the string method again. So, we will write G1 and G2 together and tie it with a string. Now, we will count the number of packets. So, the number of packets are 7. The solution to this problem is, arrange 7 packets and internal arrangement of G1 and G2. So, the solution is factorial 7 into factorial 2. The next question is, find number of ways if boys and girls are alternate. So, the arrangement would somewhat look like this. Now, we need to select the vertical solid line would be either a boy or a girl. So, the solution would be, firstly, we will do the selection. Then, we will arrange the boys and post that we will arrange the girls. So, the final solution is 2C1 which is for the selection of either solid line or an underscore multiplied by 4 factorial which is the arrangement of boys multiplied by 4 factorial again which is the arrangement of girls. Moving forward, we have reached to the last question of this video series. The question is, find number of ways if boys and girls are alternate and B1 and G1 are always together. So, this is a little tricky question. So, please stay tuned. Uh, also, we are going to divide this question into two parts. Firstly, we will arrange all other boys and girls except B1 and G1 and then we will add B1 and G1 arrangement to that. So, the solution is, Firstly, we will arrange all other boys and girls. So the, uh, so, the arrangement would look somewhat like this. Now, we need to choose a solid line would represent a boy or a girl. So, the solution goes like, firstly, we will do a selection. Then, we will arrange the boys and then we will arrange the girls. So, the solution is 2C1 which is for the selection into factorial 3 which is for the arrangement of boys into factorial 3 which is for the arrangement of girls. Now we are adding B1 and G1 in the arrangement. Now we will be using the gap method. So since 6 people have already been arranged. So now we have 7 gaps. Now we have 7 gaps. From those 7 gaps we have to select one gap in which we can arrange B1 and G1. Now also the arrangement, internal arrangement of B1 and G1 would be only one as boys and girls need to be alternate. So, the final solution is 2C1 into factorial 3 into factorial 3 into 7C1 into 1. So, this is pretty much it for this video. I hope you really like this video and it was of some help to you. For more such videos, please stay tuned and I hope you know the drill. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.